Well, hey guys, welcome back to Wash Wrench Garage. We are back on the Triumph Hardtail Bobber. What we're going to do today, we're changing out the handlebars. So, uh, hang around. Let's get to it. All right. The main reason why we're changing these out is that oh, a few years back, took a little spill. Just high sided, hit a little gravel, kicked the back tire out. It caught hold, high sided the bike. Now we got a little ding right here on the headlight bezel. I need to straighten that bracket. May do that today. Put a little bars came around and got into the tank, just scraped the paint off, and that was it. Well, then it scuffed up the uh, soft wrap. But the bars are tweaked. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to try and line up this here to where it's straight across. And you can see that either, I think it's this bar is further back than that bar. But, uh, and also, Jim bought those handlebars. Which I got laying down here beside the bike uh, <clears throat> at a swap meet, and we think it'll look a lot better on there. Uh, you'll still get about the same amount of rise, and uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking things off these and. Try and get these mounted back up and get them back, get it back together, and then we'll move on from there. Let's start with the grip. These are just a standard flathead screw. That should just slide right, right off. Easy peasy. And same with the the brake lever. I need a smaller, thinner screwdriver. We are going to plan on getting this thing up and running uh, fairly soon. <laughs> now I want to get the mirror off. Now, I'm not sure if that's a Wentworth, which it does kind of feel like it. But we are just going to be swapping everything over to the over to the uh, new bars, anyways. And we ain't trying to make anything look pretty, which this is a rat bike, anyways. So, now to get that bracket up, somebody's calling. Hey, that's one side. Now, I'll move you around. Oh, this way. Try and reposition you. Sorry, guys. Now, 
And it's just the exact same thing, it's just these this is a different uh, switch than what was on there. So I'm thinking this is this would be aftermarket because it has the wires going up through the bars. Hmm. Freaking great. But get them up out of the way. Possibly figure out Phillips. I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, just uh, then get this grip off is going to be a pain. Yeah, I ain't sure if any of these uh, turn singles. I know the headlight switch. We re we redid that. We we moved it down. If I recall. Down here to the side of the to the side of the bike, uh, let me just remove this bracket completely. We'll have to fight with getting this grip off. I'll just slip all this back together here so it don't get possibly lost. Maybe. Maybe. Such a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. I remember throwing these washers on there to take up space. <laughs> we had a blast with this little thing. She's got a bark. She got a hell of a bark to her. Now let's see what we can do about this. We're definitely going to want to try and save it. Try some lube, maybe. Um, put that back in there just to put some looby dooby on behind it. Silicone spray. There, she's moving now. Except for the very 
except for the very end. Maybe push that down in further, get a better bite. There she goes. Okay. Now, the only worry I have is let me clean up that crap. There's not going to be any way to fish the wires through unless I chase them down. <sighs> and redo somehow. See, I don't feel connectors. So we'll have to figure out how you go about going to because this I think this wiring harness is right here. It goes down into the Y here and there's no other there's no connectors. And then that goes off toward the front and then back toward the back. So uh predicament smaller we'll just keep yeah not half inch not a nine sixteenth so I'll probably have to go metric Thirteen. No. Fourteen. Eh. Iffy. I don't want to round them. Get out old trusty. The old, uh, Crescent wrench. At least I can get the bars on and then fight with those wires afterwards. Which would be fine with me. Well, a bit, uh, the camera shut off. I don't know why. But there's spacers here. So I already pulled them out of this side. I'm going to pull them up from that side. But to get the wire through, I don't know how much I got recorded. I'll have to look back. I'm just going to nip this wire, pull the wire through the handlebars, and then put the new bars on, and we'll contend with this uh, later. But get everything back together. Knock on wood. So I'm just going to nip these wires right here, give it about as much room and length as I can. <clears throat> uh, 
that's what's fun about a rat having a rat bike just do what the, whatever you please there we go now we can get the handlebars off that sleeve I may have to pull these from the triple tree I'm hoping to get away with doing it the uh, easy way easy as possible but I don't think that's gonna happen guys <laughs> never works out like that you know there's some spacers Trying to wedge that open to get them out. There. There we go. Now, with getting that off, like I said, I may have to. Yep. At least, at least I have to remove one from the triple tree to get it, to get it room to slide it. Might be able to get both. Yeah, I think I might have to remove both of them. So. Well, this is where we're at. These are the bar mounts from off the bike. Uh, they're cast. There ain't no way I'm going to bend that wide enough to go over this bar. They're the same size bar, but there's no way it's going to go over that. So, what I need to hunt down is new bar mounts, uh, the two-piece, and hopefully... I can find them here pretty soon, but as of right now, dead in the water. Yeah, that's where we're at. We're always run into a snag. I can always hunt around because I got bike parts when I had the bike shop uh, all over the place. Mostly when I cleaned up at the garage here, most of that stuff went out to the big shed or got heated. So... Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can find something that's going to going to do the trick, uh, going to do the job. Uh, that's the whole idea of a rat bike. You throw pieces at it, and hopefully it works. And if it don't, then you make it work. So, unfortunately, I'm at a standstill with this project. Uh, I can barely move the bike around because there ain't no handlebars on it. I know. So, uh, I'm going to hunt around, get a little time, see if I can find something. Uh, it's been warming up a little bit outside, and I'll get out there and see if I can go 
and, and dig something up. But I do appreciate you guys. I really do. Thank you for uh, coming and hanging out. Yeah, it's a small little video. We got into a snag. At least you got an idea what what I'm up to here. Uh, but if you like this kind of stuff, uh, why don't you subscribe? And, and click the bell notification because that lets you know whenever I post new content. I notice a lot of my subscribe 50 it's 50 50 right now that subscribers to viewers, but <laughs> I'm a small channel starting out, so that's going to change. My other channel, hell, <laughs> it's like 90% of my are unsubscribed, and their other are, are my subscribers, which I real do all appreciate you guys. I really do. <clears throat> But yeah, we'll get back to the hardtail bobber project once I can find the parts I need and figure out what I'm going to do about that wiring when that time comes. But hey, it is what it is. But hey, I thank you guys for stopping by. Like I said, leave a comment. I like to reply to all my comments if I can. Let me know what you think. It's a good way for me to find your channel. And... Give me a big thumbs up and not to finger. And why don't you go check out that video? We'll see you on the next one.